URL parameters look like this and go at the end of your Typeform URL. You can use them to add respondent contact info to a Typeform, to see which source respondents came from, or to identify responses for easier segmentation. You can also use URL parameters to personalize the form experience for each respondent. You can add URL parameters by going to Workflows and then clicking here. Scroll down to see some of the more popular parameters, like those for source tracking or respondent information like name or email. You can create your own unique URL parameters by clicking Add New Parameter and typing in a name. You can add as many URL parameters as you want. Then click Save, Publish Your Form, and navigate to the Share panel. If you scroll to the end of your Typeform link, you'll see the URL parameters added to the end of the link. These X's after the URL parameter are what we'll replace with info about our contacts. Under Advanced in the side panel, you'll see the option to set up your URL parameters. To populate these values, you have two options. You can add the information manually, and you can populate these values with contacts from your CRM or email marketing tool. You can add the information manually by typing or pasting in each name and email address and sending out each individual link. If you scroll to the end of your Typeform link, you'll see the URL parameters added to the end of the link. This is great if you don't have many people to send your Typeform to, but it could quickly become cumbersome if you have a huge list of respondents. Which brings us to option two. You can populate these values with contacts from your CRM or email marketing tool. Let's look at an example using MailChimp. Let's say we want to send out this type form as an email campaign, and we want to populate the URL parameters with the name and email address from our mailing lists in MailChimp. In the Typeform Share panel, we'll choose to embed our type form as an email. But before we start embedding, we want to add the URL parameter values, which we'll do using MailChimp merge tags. Merge tags in MailChimp look like this. They're like labels for the information you have in MailChimp about your contacts. This can include things like name, company, and email, to name just a few. In Typeform, we'll add the first name merge tag, which look like this, to the value for name. Then we'll add the email merge tag, which looks like this, to the value for email. These merge tags will pull the first name and email address of the user from our MailChimp contact entry. Now we can start embedding. We'll copy this code here, then head on over to MailChimp. In our campaign builder, we'll select the code block option and then paste our code here. This code already includes our merge tags, so we're set. Now, when we send out this email campaign to our mailing list and the contact clicks to fill in the type form, the URL will automatically be populated with their name and email address so that you can track who filled in your form. You can see the URL parameter values in your results under Responses with each URL parameter in its own column. How cool! And one last tip. If you want to add an extra personal touch, you can use recall information in your form to greet respondents personally. Just hit the at symbol and choose name to add their name to a question or an end screen. Stay personal with Typeform.